Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the continuation of Dave the Diver here on the Chair Professional Walkthroughs channel with me your host Max. So in the previous episode we had another VIP who decided to serve fish and chips because he's from England I guess so we had to serve some tempura because we're supposed to be inspired by Japanese cuisine or something I'm not sure. But anyhow, we were able to defeat him by like 3 points, so my score was 99 while his was 96, which is like really, really close. On this episode, I'm hoping to actually go to the third temple or the third location where I will be able to actually flip the switch and unlock the entry to the actual whatever device that is controlling the heat and temperature by the ancient tree so that the tremors can actually stop. We have in two days an upcoming event which is related to cucumber dishes. Now for this I will need to unlock more cucumber related meals which is going to be kind of problematic because I did not uh, provide perfect service. And this meant that I did not get the five flames that I need for the meals. So theoretically, this might mean that if I would only get four of the actual stars per service instead of the perfect service with five flames, I might be able to get two more dishes, but it's going to be a little bit trickier. So we will have to see. And that means that I will have to postpone research of some of the other dishes for later because some of them require like 15 flames and so on and such. So there's a whole lot of stuff that still needs to be done, but plus we still haven't even reached the occasion of potentially expanding to second uh, kitchen and so on and such. So. Or not second kitchen second restaurant so there's still a lot that needs to be done but anyhow um, I was able to get the full upgrade for the basic rifle so we have like 30% chance for insta kill I have quite a lot of these resources but some of them are required in order for me to actually get certain upgrades like if I would want to have a poison rifle or some other variants now I'm gonna take a look at what is he offering because it has been constantly raining in like the last five or so episodes. Uh, I have been coming across certain species like tuna, sailfish, and so on and such. So this uh, sorry sensor trap is actually quite the the potential investment, and I want to take a look if there's something that I can potentially expand to. Uh, well, I unfortunately won't be able to purchase uh, one additional crap pod. I did invest into uh, certain things like training the staff members, uh, dealing with the farm. Where actually Otto's son, I keep forgetting his name, is uh, working for us. So he's in charge of managing planting, harvesting, putting in the fertilizer. And I'm still responsible for dealing with like refeeding of the chickens. But as you can see, there's quite a lot of cucumbers that he has been able to plant in. And so uh, I'm not really sure two or more we will get. But in zero days, I'm not sure how that's going to work out with the harvest. We're going to have to just simply see uh, what's going to happen in like the afternoon or so. But yeah, I definitely want to make sure that I will be able to go and get that research done because those extra dishes and now we have like a lot of them potentially accessible. Like this one I definitely want to go for because we have lots of black vinegar, we have the black coral. If I'll be able to get the cucumber and with like the ancient species of the shrimp, I'll be able to get a lot and the money, the taste and the, the quantity of portions is awesome. And I've been also starting to collect the spider crabs uh, so that I can invest into this. So that would be nice as well, but there's not that many spider crabs compared to other species like uh, I can come across during one dive uh, uh, across like a bunch of these 
plus now we have them at the fish tanks so that's something that i have to consider as well i think i already fed the little kitty so yeah uh, what i'll try to do probably on this dive is go uh reach the glacial passage by actually swimming all the way down there and the worst case scenario if i'll have too much inventory then i'll return back to the ship We'll do it in the afternoon, but I definitely want to get it done on this episode. And uh, I might even try to do some nighttime fishing. Uh, we will see. So, because I cannot really upgrade uh, the crab pots to capture more lobsters and such, I'll definitely have to uh, wait for that opportunity. There's still certain species which I really haven't caught or I just don't see the added value in but I'll definitely keep on trying to accumulate the species to have them either in the fish tanks or when the time will come or just whatever the occasion might be but there's plenty of variations and when it's a rainy day the biome changes and that can bring different species and I see I think a treasure shark we were able to actually get the upgrade for the knife so at this point i'm actually able to even go to the glacial area and utilize just the basic knife to do the excavation of the resources which can be found there so i no longer have to rely upon getting my hands on like an actual uh big axe which i would be able to get in the deeper waters these little shits i think are required for some specific meal but i don't really care about them right now that much i'll definitely try to pick up the fragments because they're still required for upgrading just about any weapon and if you need to accumulate like 50 of them just for one of the later stages of the upgrades that's that's quite a lot because uh that carry capacity will transfer into your overall cargo eventually so you will have to work with that okay so here we have for example a merlin now i want to see i can definitely use like the steel trap on this knucklehead but uh, it doesn't really weigh that much when it comes to uh the overall a meat so this is something that i'm completely perfect uh, sacrificing uh the tuna tends to be in the higher levels so we'll have to take a look and see if there's anything i will swap out to the spare oxygen tank just to make sure i don't accidentally use it uh somewhere and catch just a bunch of junk which i would normally be able to acquire by using the regular net gun so definitely have to consider that but i will also have to keep in mind that eventually if i want to have a second restaurant i should potentially put in some uh, templates or some sort of uh, pamphlet that we are hiring so that i can recruit a member have them in reserve not use them even though i would have to pay their wages but if I would be able to upgrade them to a certain level and then transfer them immediately to the second location once I'll have access to it, then I won't be afraid about losing out on providing a great service at the initial bound show restaurant because that would be just the worst thing. So I cannot really afford to sacrifice losing out on the quality over there or I'm not really sure how that's gonna work out i'll probably ignore this fish for now it's really nice that i was also given so many rounds of the ammunition so that allows me to not have to restock immediately on the ammo that i would have to look for because you usually go from like five rounds eight rounds ten rounds twelve rounds so that's actually quite neat and of course it depends if you're looking for some of the effects like fire poison or if you're looking for like the electric shock to paralyze the enemy but then again you have to consider the fact that certain species are affected by certain things and certain species are resistant to it so if you would try to electrocute a jellyfish which will actually zap you well then you know that it's gonna not probably work because uh, they have already some sort of current going through them 
and that will just hinder the whole thing. Uh, I do recall the fact that I need to get some actual jellyfish. But right now, for the love of it, I cannot remember if it's the white spotted or some other jellyfish that I need to actually acquire during the night time. Yeah, I don't think this is the jellyfish that I'm looking for. It's quite the tricky location over here. I'm trying to see what's in this region because the region with the uh, strong currents can have lots of ingredients and because certain stuff like soy sauce and so on and such is a little bit more trickier to come across and look black vinegar is one of the things which I specifically require in order to get my hands on the actual uh, recipe uh, with that ancient shrimp so just exploring here is already worth it uh, these little bastards are a little bit annoying, but I can deal with them. Oh, let's take this scooter and just scoot my way away. Way, way, way burn this. I do not require... Hammerhead is out here, that's interesting. It usually tends to be inside of the shipwreck where the sailfish tends to be as well, so it's kind of weird for me to see it outside here. There's the tiger. Tiger can be really annoying when it comes to like trying to do just about anything around him. And because I usually have a decent stockpile of sh uh, tiger shark meat in general, not really that interested in him. Sesame, yeah, I'll take it. But yeah, I, I kind of noticed that certain species are just unfortunately underrepresented on the menu because you will be only able to make them into one dish. For example, the tiger shark specifically, you're only gonna be able to utilize the tiger shark for the basic sushi. You, so you put the slice of meat on top of the rice and that's it, that, that, that's it. But then you have some sort of species which can go into like eight dishes and it's just a question of time and how many successful services you can do in order to actually uh, get your hands on all of them and try out which one works the best for you and which one is the most potentially profitable for you as well. I wanna clear out this head. I don't care about this fish right now because we don't need it for anything. I did need it for one of the VIP meals, but I kind of screwed myself over there because I accidentally used up the egg that I required for the recipe and I used it to serve some other meals on that day. So I screwed up and had to have a rematch with one of the VIPs. Right now, what I'm looking for is actually the spider crab but it just doesn't seem to be anywhere. Just able to dodge this knucklehead. Probably there's a pickaxe in here, which I don't care about. Or a rubber chicken, either way. Not really interested in either one of these things. Uh, we were able to get the cookie cutter shark, which we required for the meal. But uh, none of these things right now interest me. Uh, what I have to accumulate uh, right now are the cucumbers, but that's uh, something which I just simply have to wait for. So in the meantime, I have to occupy myself with different activities. The reason why I need to have some sort of fish in my inventory is that eventually when I come across a location where I decide to put down the crab pot, I need to have some sort of bait or some fish meat to be put in there and I think that the more high end value of the fish which you blow in the better the potential reward can be so for example these suckers if you try to use like a electric attachment it's absolutely pointless because let's face it it's just not gonna do anything for you the reason why I want to swim around though is because I know for a fact that somewhere around these parts uh, Tends to be another one of those Dutch ovens which uh, do contain uh, an ingredient of sorts. There's a location for a crab. Uh, there's a frill shark. I'm gonna take the fragments. I was able to get a bunch of these fish because they are required for some recipe. 
which I have been looking into due to either curry use or some other use. I'm not really sure right now. But yeah, I can thoroughly like even go bananas and utilize Merlin meat uh, to be placed inside of the crab pod. That would totally work. Let's do this. I will restock up on the oxygen. And so I would basically swim around in a circle so I can go and swim through the way I just came in. The furl shark is not gonna do much. Even though he's like not noticing me and attacking, I'll just swim away and by the time I'll be able to do something, I'll be gone. Trying to swim around these knuckleheads. Uh, I don't need to take up the ammunition right now because 11 rounds of the tier 2 upgraded rifle will do enough harm. Okay, I did not know this this fragment over here, so I'll take it. This guy with the uh, leatherback turtle, which we use as a projectile to break through some ice a couple of episodes back, he won't offer me anything. So, there's nothing I can really do. I'm still not really thrilled about the pickaxe, uh, or not the pickaxe, the ice pick minigame. That was kind of a hassle to figure out. And the boneyard, there's usually the spider crab, and because that's also required for one of the meals. There we go. I really want to figure out though how to get a better quality of the spider crab. That's been kind of like uh, bumming me out that the only way I'm able to capture this thing is through uh, actually smashing it with rocks. So I was thinking, well, wait a minute. What if I use the crab pod in the region where they exist? Would that potentially yield me a spider crab from that stone? Is that a possibility which I can count, or is that something that's just not gonna happen? So that's something that I still need to figure out. Uh, if, you know, I'm gonna take you with me, so we'll grab the stone. I do wonder what's in this chest. You, you never know what's in there, so that's why I keep cracking them open. Don't really need the pickaxe because even in the glacial zone, I'm able to utilize just the basic knife now to do the mineral harvesting. So I'll definitely take the diamonds. I was too busy looking at the diamonds, did not notice this knucklehead. But diamonds are super rare when it comes to appearing, so I'm kind of glad. Also did notice that they usually do tend to appear only during the rainier days, so there goes that. Uh, there's a cookie cutter. And one round from tier 2. That's it. But then again, there's that 30% critical chance that we will one hit the uh, fish. Even though sharks are not exactly fish because they don't have a uh, bone structure. The only bone in their entire body is their jaw. So they're not considered fish. for the glacial zone or for the ancient uh, area, uh, area zone but because I don't really have that much uh, inventory I should be perfectly fine I was hoping to come across more cooking ingredients but uh, so far I have one cat food, turmeric, miso, sesame, black vinegar, olive, soy sauce, black pepper and turmeric so the soy sauce is like the most valuable because it's used in incredibly large amount of recipes and i think i'll go for some dumplings here i think we're still upgrading the quality of the seeds uh so this means that once this is like done uh we get a higher or extra harvest so it's actually quite nice. If I would be able to get 100% uh, more out of one harvest, uh, that's like doubling it. So that's absolutely awesome. I usually go for one dumpling and that's the feather one. I can skip this. Uh, it 
The thingy cutscenes are absolutely kick-ass, don't get me wrong, I love them. But then this game is nothing but an amazing source of thumbnails if you're learning Photoshop and you're struggling to determine what the thumbnail is going to be. So, uh, I never have an issue with this game. And I do know that my, like, Photoshop is required to be upgraded, but I haven't had the time or the budget to do it, and lately at work things have been super crazy, because for the half, past half year, I've been working with two people on a department where we should be minimum four or five, and it's just been kicking my ass, so, uh, there's two adults. Bonus, that's awesome. Let's take a look. Uh, honestly, I have no idea what to plan. I can't go with like basic stuff. But yeah, I realized that I can swap out the actual seahorses when it comes to registration. So like the super shitty ones I can replace. And there's like a second uh, section of racing where you can have like four horses in one race, which would compete on like a longer track. So you have the single race and then you have uh, this one. So you have the options to make money. At least in that fashion, at least. So that can be quite helpful. Let's take a look at what's in here. I'm not really sure if the Donkleosius would be able to be caught by the steel net. Uh, the problem is with this thing that, uh, for example, when I first discovered this tool, it was absolutely amazing because this was the time when I was being introduced to Tuna. And uh, this trap, especially once you get the crone, was able to capture like three Tuna in one go. So otherwise, that would require you to either salvage the three tunas or have to actually uh, call in multiple drones pick, uh, pick, pickups. And the tuna weighs uh, quite a decent amount, so it would occupy a large quantity of space in your inventory. So having one drone to pick up three tuna, which would mean either six times salvaging meat or calling in three drone pickups is absolutely amazing, right? But those things can uh, quite rapidly change. Uh, so we're gonna put in, I think I'll go with the Merlin just to see what's gonna happen. I have no clue at what point or place would I be able to capture the blue uh, lobster. Uh, the Arctic region seems to be a really good location for me to get mayonnaise. So if you are a mayonnaise lover or you want to get recipes which utilize this ingredient, Glacial Zone is where you need to go. Uh, especially the left side of the map tends to be more generous with the drops. But I'm trying to explore whatever I can find in here. Uh, I'll definitely try to mess around potentially with the uh, steel trap on the donkey osteus just so that I can see if it works or if it does not work. Down here is the entry point to the location that I'm looking for. Uh, I can theoretically try to call the uh, capture this knucklehead. I know for a fact that this one would be able to be caught by the steel trap. So we can do this, he's just gonna swim in. I said you're gonna swim in. Hey! Don't don't you don't you dare. Don't you dare. Come on. You get caught. That's a good ancient crocodile or whatever the heck you are. Now to find the donkey osteus. That one tends to usually roam around somewhere uh, towards the left side. And usually tends to be in the location no matter what. And this 
is gonna be a big question. Yep, 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 that's what I thought. Certain species are just damn too big and just won't cooperate with you. So I could have used the, the second trap or the second green dragon over there. What's the damn thing called? Underbelly of this one. Whoa, well, I, I think that might have been the actual critical activating itself. Holy much. Yeah, I'm calling the drones for these ones. recipe which I want to get just because there's more abundance of these knuckleheads which means that if I potentially uh, get that specific recipe I might be actually capable of going and uh, upgrading that specific dish I need to wait for the ruby to stop emanating whatever that is this is like the second time ever that I came across this deposit on this side so uh, there's like two uh, really rare minerals down here. There's that tense right or something that looks like plutonium or uranium. It's all green and stuff really oddly looking thing And everyone ignore that terrible aim I don't like the toxic attachment because it usually makes you like do the sort of weird spinny thingy with your mouse and I have found it from previous experience that it does not always take and the results can be heavily varied. Uh, okay, I'm um, looking for honestly another location where to put down the crap pod. We know that I'll have to hit this one a few times in order to get the results that I'm looking for. Wow, we know these knuckleheads. Are you trying to tell me I would be able to reel them in? No. Oh, this one can actually change direction a few times. Interesting, interesting. This is the most of these that I have been able to see in one dive. Usually there's like one, max two, but this time I can cross three, so it's it's pretty damn amazing. Uh, the damage output would go significantly down. I think I'll stick with this one. And here's our second uh, crap out location. And honestly, I can even try to put in one of the ancient dino meats just to see what the hell is gonna happen. Uh, and one of them I have put in the marlin meat, so that's already pretty damn rare. Or sort 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 swordfish. And uh, yeah, I did not really go and check for the wreckage and see if there's sailfish. Usually what you will definitely find inside, uh, especially when it's a rainy day, is at least a hammerhead shark. But uh, yeah, as it's a location where you initially have like a boy boss fight with like the giant squid, I think that's like the first location where you have an actual boss fight. Uh, the, the location can vary on its uh, utility for you. Okay, uh, snow crab. Uh, okay. Um, uh, by the time we return back to second location that crab pot should be done as well second dive I'll probably uh, try to just go and get whatever species I require or whatever recipes I will be looking for so I can like stack up on the green uh, parakeet or some other species that would be required some highly profitable meals. Okay, uh, I know for a fact that there's an oxygen, I think at least by the entry point to the location where 
we're headed. So I don't actually mind right now holding down shift in order to swim fast and burn oxygen faster. Because I should be able to recover it. Some sort of snowflake, that's cute. I injured, so I think it would be only fair for me to finish off the job. There goes that oxygen, and what I want to check is actually down here, even below, because there can be that weird green uh, mineral. I don't want to. I thought. This time there's the jade plate, but I'll take it. I don't really use the ice gun. Uh, so I guess let's go and take a look what's waiting for us. I don't have a spare oxygen tank, which is a little bit uh, annoying, but hopefully we'll manage. We're ready to enter. Let's accept and let's see what's waiting for us. Mm, there is no water up there. This is near the roots of the divine tree. They are sucking the ground heat. As the tree has mutated, it seems to have absorbed everything, leaving the soil around it completely dry. I need to open the inner waterway to fill the water again, but I can't reach the contraption up there as it's there is no water. Human, you go up there and activate the contraption of my signal. You want me to go up there? Of course, you can't go up there. All right, wait a moment. We're gonna have a rare Dave the Diver moment where he's not in his diving suit. If you've ever tried to walk with fins on surface, it's incredibly annoying. So here you can switch between Dave and Swam. Choose the character that fits the situation to clear your path. Yeah, Davey would not be able to walk so easily. So there's some counter currents. that keep falling. Oh, fudge. Of course. I have to fudge it up. Okay, interesting, interesting. Stay down there. How the hell did you get injured? Explain this to me. That's that's confusing. Okay, the, the reason why Swamp got injured, I am totally aware of. underneath it or it's gonna hit you I really need some something that will allow me now to heal up or else I'm gonna turn into quite the sausage and not 
in the fun way. Touch that rock, it's no go. Okay, question is do I need to continue S1 through here? Or. opportunities for me to fuck it up. to pick up the core. This is a wild ass guess. It's gonna melt that ice. Which I think is gonna start making the damn trap work or some weird nonsense. Okay, hold on. I'll have to get Dave to the other side. Or, question is, what would happen if Dave would remain on top of this? Would it be considered as damage or not? I don't think it is, so... Good job, I guess. It's gonna melt whatever is in here, which will increase the water levels. Okay. Swan is able to. Probably have to pull it at the same time. There's a lever here. There you are. Yes, pull that lever. There's another lever down here. I will pull this one myself. Send me a signal when you're ready, human. I have no idea how to do synchronized swimming. You should probably consider putting back the mask. began to flow from the top. Good, it looked like an important device and it's filling the place with water. You pulled it without knowing what it does. I trust my gut feeling, you know? The water is filling up, I must suit up. There seems to be path inside, let's go in there. You know, I'm just realizing it now that his face is not covered, so probably in that glacial zone and everywhere, he would actually feel the damn cold water. 
Unfortunately, this path is filled with water. The place is packed with divine tree branches. Is there something stimulating the tree? This level of growth is not normal. I need to enter the control room to figure out what's that. We move to the inner switch, human. Follow me. From this point, you can control both Dave and Swan simultaneously. Swan has ability to open the tube worm path and penetrate through sea currents by using the ash. Help Dave reach the destination safely. This is gonna suck. So I'll have to get both of these knuckleheads across, huh? Oh my god. Synchronized diving. never done anything like this so this is most likely gonna blow up in my face but Dave has also the damn jewel that should help him deal with the barnacles I'm trying to keep them as together as possible Using your left and right hemisphere of brain at the same time. Nothing. Okay, hold on. It seems easy, but no, nobody is used to playing uh, Counter Strike with WASD and up, down, left, right. So, just saying, <laughs> this is quite the adventure. surprising me with how much stuff there is to be done it is absolutely incredible and i love it so what's like the objective here am i gonna have to pull it all the way up are we to carry it What do you mean game over? The fudge? I, I don't understand that. What just happened? So confused. Yeah, that was just weird as hell. be a source of entertainment for me. I have to keep these two knuckleheads in one location. Preferably alive. I have 
no clue what happened there. Okay, that, that cannot be good. This is gonna suck so much. If we would be able to push this up... Like the two holding it up together... that much easier for me. Uh, I hate whoever designed the sequence. Okay, I think I have to go and make it to the right side. I swear to God, I feel like if the two knuckleheads would be able to push this out by two sides, Would be far better off. So I need to make it to the left. This is so freaking tricky. I knew that this has to work somehow. I'll try to take the wand. Because he can swim through here faster. No. No. God damn it, I have to take both of them. I just know this is gonna be annoying. Especially if I'll have to replay the first section. Come on, I'm looking for some sort of pattern. Damn it! Ah, oh, son of a biscuit! This is one of the trickiest sequences ever. What the hell? Yeah, the fact that we don't have that gizmo. I'll just skip this until I get it done. Oh my god, you can't be serious. This is how I was meant to... The solution is so stupidly, idiotically simple, it's not funny. I cannot believe this is how I was meant to defeat this. Oh my god, I'm an idiot! Matching my rhythm underwater, humans aren't as hopeless as they seem. Alright, let's proceed through the door ahead and flip the switch. species of shark. What is that creature? Looks... Uh, look like... Look at its snout. It's scary. I haven't seen it before in the ancient creature code. It's, it's called Helicoprion, if the memory is correct. But it's been extinct for 200 million years. Maybe it's been trapped in ice and has now been released as the ice melts in this region. Wait. 
waiting for the thumbnail moment. There we go. Please don't tell me we have to. Uh, we've been spotted. What should we do? Small soup. Okay, so I guess it's up to Dave to do the battle. Come on, this place looks strategically important. Since that is an ancient deep sea creature, it won't send bright lights. I will hit a divine tree through here to blind it, and you were the creature. You little freaking wuss. Sounds like a reasonable tactic, but as you do it, just hide, it seems. Anyway, what saw blade looks extreme, that saw blade looks extremely dangerous. I should either hide somewhere or use the divine tree fruit as Swan suggested. I have no clue what to do here. That's not good. Strategical brain. Praise my strategical brain. I uh, bought us victory, if you say so. Now the monster is gone and we can access the door. Let's go in, human. Yeah, I definitely want to go and grab the actual shark meat there. It's been kind of awesome to have that shark meat during the Shark Week event. But uh, I cannot be that picky. I'll have to pick up some ammunition though. No longer have position over Swan, so. But holy crap, what a sequence! What a sequence! That's pretty damn amazing. Th this game is definitely like holy crap. Two 2023 for video games. Ooh, like 2024 is gonna have to step up its game seriously because holy shit. I'm not joking. Can you imagine skipping this shark meat? Here's the last switch. It's larger than the one in the second room. Help me, Swan. You can't do anything without me, human. Do I control again the two knuckleheads, or what's the dealio here? No clue. No clue. Do both of them need to pull the switch? Blocking the doors to open. Could I activate the last switch? The door to the control room should be open now. I must get out through the exit and see what's going on outside. How convenient there's an exit. Check the control room. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. I didn't know if I need to take you again or what's the deal. Maybe the location did reset itself? No. Nah, I had to try. Let's go take a look. I don't really have that much fish with me. I did pull in some 
species with the drone. We do have like a few lobsters or something like that. So that should do at least some damage. But worst case scenario, I would love to go and grab more things. The control room door is still closed. The door is stuck by the divine tree roots growing from the inside. I knew you would be found here. John Watson, how did you follow me here? Made of eco-friendly material and titanium, there's no place Deccan 9 cannot reach. I saw a passage in a strange village, so I just broke through it, haha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't mind destroying this beautiful primordial place, do you? I can't believe this. You are a germ in the world and I'm about to sterilize you. I feel like that damn submarine is gonna end up burning and crashing down, sinking to the bottom going through the actual roots, but what the hell does he mean that he just went through the village? I hope he did not do some damage to the village. I have a bunch of coral growing there. What a hypocrite. I know you see blue people do in secret. So it was you. That is why the description of the suspect perfectly matches you. I'm suddenly very curious about how it was portrayed in the description. For a reason that I can't let you go free, I, John Watson of Sea Blue, the Guardians of the Sea, will rid the sea of impurity. You can't make this shit up. How tenacious. Must we must finish our business. How am I supposed to neutralize that sturdy submarine? Again, I'll need to. Some of death. What the hell is that? Oh shit! Oh, is that the ghost sword? Coronasaurus! Holy shit. What is that? An ancient creature of Plesiosaurus family. Maybe Coronasaurus. Unbelievable, a monster of that size hidden in the deep sea glacier. Mm -hmm. Fighting such a monster would be ridiculous, but mm -hmm. if it has recently come out of the ice, it may still be sluggish and weak. Mm -hmm. Besides, there's no way we can get to the control room without confronting it. Mm -hmm. uh, isn't that the missile launcher that came off John, John Watson's submarine? Mm -hmm. What if I can shoot the missiles? How convenient! it all. Good. 
one of those monsters we just land. Yeah, I, I don't know if it would actually go through the glacial passage. I've got to hurry to the divine tree control room and restore it, the device. You know, one thing which uh, actually doesn't make sense here is that the Chronosaur does not breathe underwater. It actually has to surface, inhale oxygen, and then dive again. Mosasaur, Leoperidon, all these species were lizards that breathed oxygen. So I'm not sure how the hell that would it survive down here since there's no oxygen bubble for it. Now hold on, I wanna take a portion of that Leoperidon. Or Chronosaur, sorry. Dr. Bacon? What is this from? Hey Dave, sorry I'm late. I was making an explorer drone to aid you as the glacial area looks dangerous and it has just been completed. After break then I didn't know the signal could reach this deep. Uh, it's a pride and joy of my lab. This drone not only communicates but also does many activities underwater. All thanks to Duff here. It's good to see you Dave. Such a large glacial ice in this depth. As if it was uh, touched by Gabriella and her cold fingers. Only if I could suit her loneliness. Anyways, it looks like the roots are blocking the door. The drone can cut through the roots using the laser cutter. Oh, it's that handy. I foresaw your hardship and added the feature. Ah, lucky. Well, why don't you activate the laser cutter? Hold on, I want a piece of meat of that damn thing. Should we be cutting through the roots? Wouldn't that hurt the damn tree? The vine tree is extremely hard, unlike ordinary trees. It will take two days to get it done. Do you think... Un do your thing until I'm done. I will let you know when I'm done. Awesome. So we have to wait for two days. I cannot believe I just managed to get the Chronosaur. That means there's three boss fights in this single sequence alone. Incredible. But okay, if, if we have still like 80 kilos to go, I can theoretically go and try to salvage the rest of my carry capacity. If it's gonna take two days for them to cut through that. Holy crap, I cannot believe I did not give up and I was able to hold the fight off. That is just, ooh, such a close call. I would seriously love to get some. Uh, consumable, I could swear to god that there's like an oxygen tank somewhere in here. Not just the oyster with the oxygen, but like actual consumable. No, just ammo? Yeah, that's where the ruby was, huh? I could have sworn that there was an oxygen somewhere in here. me some more stuff. Man, so many boss fights. The question is, does this mean that I've actually dealt with that one knucklehead enough? So that he won't bother me again. The apple blue or what are these knuckleheads called? swim through the upper sections see if there's like consumables and stuff but yeah this definitely means that I'll be able to uh, do things so I'll probably skip until maybe like the night service so be careful in this location by the tricky one to squeeze in So much stuff just happened. That's incredible. One problem though which I have so far with uh, some of the boss fights is that I was able to only have them once. So once you like serve that meal with that specific ingredient, like that's it. You will never be able to do it again. That's kind of a shame. Kind of a shame.
Okay, so cucumber harvest apparently is something that I have now. You can store up to 200 crops. That's awesome. 24 cucumbers. That's that's brilliant. Meat, onion, habanero, cucumber. It will probably really depend on what fertilizer is going to be used. But I need to check how much stuff do I still have left. Okay, there's still quite a lot of stuff that can be processed. But having those 24 cucumbers is definitely going to help me out. Question is, if with the uh, reduced potential... Um, service time due to trying to do nighttime fishing I'll be actually able to uh, get the recipe uh, researched that's 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 a tricky one but still god damn three freaking boss fights in just like that one after another that's incredible and you can bet your sweet tushi that probably there's going to be a recipe for Chronosaur uh, for the uh, shark with the saw on its mouth. Yeah, so, so this is the roasted helicoprion tail. This is the Chronosaur tongue. These ones just cost one research point, but honestly, <laughs> Falcotus. I don't even know where the hell to find this one. But, uh, now nah, they de definitely want to get this. Definitely want to get this. Great money, a decent potential taste, five portions, absolutely amazing. And if I'll get more spider crab and uh, be able to upgrade these two dishes, especially, it's gonna help me out. On the menu, do I already have, like, for example, this thing? Skewered cucumber. That seems a little lazy. It isn't the seed toad, that's why I wanted to get it. Okay. So, that might actually. 512 and 206. I would like to get the taste to at least that level. Giant Trevally, Big Eye Trevally, and Cucumber. Five portions. I have lots of Giant Trevally. I need to get a whole lot more Big Eye Trevally. Big Eye Trevally, okay, I can focus my attention on that. Absolutely. This guy, I honestly have to take a look at the ingredient to like figure out. Yeah, this one is just for this sushi, so that sucks. Some of these are just specifically for one thing, but some of them are for multiple meals. I'm still missing two meals for this one. Deep fried vegetables. I have not even seen that one. Deep fried vegetables? Does anyone see that? I need onion. I need onion. Yeah, but honestly, I don't see the point of me upgrading the uh, green hump head when I can get so much more out of this fish in that specific meal. That's just incredible. This one... I've burned through so many cucumbers. I don't even like remember researching some of these things. That's, that's the thing. If I were to upgrade these two meals further, I 
would burn through my entire cucumber reserve. And then there's even this recipe, pickled vegetables. I think this is the hot pepper tuna. There's not really that many things that would uh, be missed, so I can totally go for it. Dunkelostius, I think that thing is only used specifically for that one recipe. Yeah, so in that department, I can go bananas and just upgrade this as much as I can. Because there's usually a whole lot more of these ones. Not that problematic. But running out of certain ingredients is also not the best thing. I'll have to look for that big eye or small small eye Trevelli thingy. Spider crab I need to hold on to. Sealfish, kajime, soy sauce. Sure, go bananas in that department. Wheat, miso. Don't see the reason why not. Seems like a great dish to elevate. Soy, rice. Well, I would burn through the entire soy sauce reserve, so. But here, that's three dishes I already have, and if I research and add in those additional ones, I'm gonna seriously help myself out. So I'll definitely look into that, but yeah, I'll probably just do the second dive and then I'll talk to you when we're ready for the service. Oh. Oh, a dolphin in a place like this? Must be Lysodelphus Peroni. I heard there are pack animals, but that one's swimming alone. So either this is gonna be for a photo or I'm gonna have to help this one. Yeah, it disappeared behind the iceberg. Interesting. Oh, photo? More of them behind the iceberg. The school of dolphins is always sight to see. Hey, I should take a picture of them. Where? Guys, would okay. Nice. So I just mentioned this because it's something special. Uh, so I'm gonna include it. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I've been mostly focusing on like getting my hands on fish and stuff. My carriage capacity is almost at the limit, but I still have, I think, like a drone charger or so. And I've picked up a commission at the Sea People Village to get two Dunkley Osteos killed. And so if I would still have a drone charge left and I would be able to pull out at least one of them, then that's okay and I can leave this place. I do have a spare oxygen tank just to be on the safe side. Just need to find that one knucklehead and hope that maybe the death rifle will trigger its effect. To get the hit on the soft underbelly. Actually, might be able to pull out even one of the other species. So let's go and do that since I have one more charge and we can do the service. 
god, I love that this thing can trigger and just one shot even the bigger species. Such a time saver, such a bullet saver. Oh crap, okay, so here we actually have... The other rare resource, which I so far found like only once. with the deposit whenever this sort of weird gas is emanating from it and yeah i have a pickaxe because i accidentally swapped it uh, as i was picking up uh, something in one location it also triggered the weapon that was dropped there and that is why i don't have the knife because i'm starting to get to the point where the initial tools that i go diving with are performing or outperforming the items that you can come across at the start it's usually quite the uh reward that you come across uh i don't know uh a shotgun or or that triple gun or or something else but uh yeah i mean i was able to capture three tuna that's what i came across so I was really hoping that the steel net would be able to be used for them, but there goes something. I hunted for the big eye trevally because that's in combination with the other uh, trevally and the cucumber, so that's another dish, so there goes that. Um, so I'm really hoping that we will be able to do stuff. Ah, oh, you brought a picture of something, and I see. Wow, a dolphin found amongst glaciers. There have you been Dave the Arctic or something mm. I found it in the deep waters of the blue hole that's amazing this blue hole is like a gold mine for our magazine yeah that was a joke <laughs> I'll put your picture to good use I'm sure the reader will love it there are photo spots all over the place thank you for your help and keep up the good work okay so uh I'll definitely have to make sure that uh, we will get our hands on more cucumbers. Here's the thing, I hold more seeds, and I still have a few which are currently growing, so we have some cherry tomatoes and habaneros. So the question is, what actually our knucklehead has decided to plant? In two days, in one day, if he would actually utilize the Speed grow equivalent. I know that's a Stardew Valley thing, but hear me out. We might still get more cucumbers. So there's one, two. I think we will definitely have more uh, cucumbers planted, so I'm not really worried about that one. The price is gonna be done as well. Let's go and have ourselves a decent service really have to consider what we'll be doing and it seems like another VIP is gonna be challenging us. Hello everyone, this is Yui from NBC Station. We have a very special guest today. As far as we know, our guest in is an ill-fated relationship with Bancho uh, was a uh, has the I mean legendary actress, oh my god. That woman Luigi. Excuse me, the name is Louise. Long time no see, Bancho. The last time I saw you, you owned a restaurant at a five-star hotel. Not this kind of shabby restaurant. Sharp dishes didn't sell well or something, ha ha ha. She's rude. Is she the restaurant critic who defamed you? You heard stories from Miss Yoshi, right? That's she. What brought you to a lowly place like this? I... I thought you review only prestigious restaurants. Well, my previous review of your restaurant, it became a thorn in my side. My reputation suffered from comments saying I was close-minded, disqualified as a taster, etc. And my career as a restaurant critic has declined since then. All because you served me disgusting dish. She tried to make a comeback in movies, but that didn't go well either. Pegato. No need to speak of that. That... Pastro something gastro. Let me introduce Pastro An Anto Giovanni. I brought him from Italy to teach you what culinary elegance really yes. means. Ciao, amico. I heard a lot about you. And oddball of a chef who uses strange ingredients to draw attention. Oh. 
You are just a showman and I will prove that today. Why you chefs and cooks stick to certain ingredients because they are time tested and proven. Replacing time tested ingredients arbitrarily doesn't make a good dish. Your dishes are disgusting. I will show you, you will learn that Italian cuisine has led the world for centuries. Oh, drama from the past. I can't wait to see how it will develop. Well, today's theme is pasta. Why does the subject always benefit the challenger? A clash between two maestros. Let's find out who Vincent will choose. As always, the contest will begin in two days. We will meet here in two days. Stay tuned and see what transpires in today's challenge of the chef. isn't too one-sided that italian chef is definitely at an advantage i saw the show on tv and found out the one sponsor of the show and it's bc company the bc company the famous restaurant franchise the restaurants are all good so what is the problem of course they serve good food use fresh ingredients as well but the letter c and bc represents crawford that's the problem what lose crawford's company it's her family business to be exact, and she will one day inherit it. I see, that's why she's quite knowledgeable in cooking for an actress. I bet she wanted to get back at you using the show. Quite possible. Still, all she can do is select the contest theme. After all, it's Vincent's call that matters in the end. His palate doesn't lie. I have a chance to win if I am well prepared. I will cook squid and shrimp this time. Bring me some Humboldt squid, white shrimp, wheat and garlic. Humboldt squid are nocturnal predators. You need to dive at night to hunt them. I see. This contest will not be easy for Pancho. Okay, so uh, the only thing which we are missing is literally Humboldt squid, but I'll need to manage wheat, garlic, and white shrimp. Uh, question is there for crab. The two things both collide at the same night that's absolutely horrible which would theoretically mean that i have only so much time to hunt for the humble squid um i really wish i can somehow sort this out by cuttlefish Looking for anything that's squid. Okay, humbled squid. So this one we actually do have in our fish tank. The problem is I have only that one. So I'll need to go and fetch more. I think I'll have to go nighttime diving even tonight. I will have to sacrifice a portion of the service in order to ensure that I will get my hands on what I need. This guy is sleeping. Why are you giving me the third degree here? Uh, I'll have to dive tonight and tomorrow probably in order to do this. I cannot grab anything for the nighttime diving. I'm sacrificing portion of the service, which will hurt my income. I might be able to get some marine eel and stuff of such nature, so who knows, who knows. We haven't done nighttime diving in such a ridiculous long time. Seriously, like this episode is so content packed, holy fudge. It's a shame that that many people are gonna watch it. I honestly thought that make it like 100 days in a video game for this but I'm already like what 60 hours in or something and there's still so much that needs to be like uncovered it's ridiculous now let's go in the drone is this copperhead or some other shark I'm not sure hopefully we will get some row out of this The lionfish I can capture just using the basic harpoon. Because the damage output is so greatly increased. The problem is 
There's no interruption. So the other one can close in the distance. I definitely do require some specific jellyfish, if I recall correctly. And I do wonder if I actually can do crab hunting at the night time. Uh, like, uh, deploy a crab pot. That's something which I haven't tried as of now. I mean, worst case scenario here, I can just get rid of all these knuckleheads. I'm not really sure if the row count is determined on if I bring the body over, but this is the white shrimp, and the white shrimp can be obtained at nighttime, and we have already a quite large quantity of it swimming in the fish tank, so uh, this one I can totally get rid of. And worst case scenario, I'll just get rid of also uh, the large number of the lionfish. Definitely want to get the marine eel. That was like the big thing and the reason as to why the whole nighttime diving even started. to just harpoon the damn thing is because it uh, makes sure that the quality remains at two stars instead of just one. Look, trying to figure out what can I potentially drop in there, but all I see are the lionfish. Of course I'm gonna get cat food. some sort of like boss fight or something okay this zebra knucklehead I definitely need because I have only one in the shark tank can we upgrade for a weapon definitely don't want that I want to hold on to the death rifle Man. Taking your time. Let's see what do we get from a lionfish. Oh, blue lobster. Nice, of the highest quality even. That actually means that maybe it doesn't really affect what sort of stuff you drop in there. It's just some sort of RNG that you have to work with and hopefully get the best outcome. Now, in order for me to, however, come across what I'm looking for, which is the damn squid, I'm quite sure I'll be forced to go deeper. It's gonna be at the edge of that uh, super deep region, probably. And chances are I might not even come across one, which would be most unfortunate. Is that a copper shark? I'm not sure. I'll need to get it. I probably will try to get a lot of these knuckleheads. Uh, I would really appreciate the harpoon upgrade, so I'll have to probably shoot the shark. It's always nice. I think this is copper. No, that's the black tip. But it's just 2.5 kilos, so nothing crazy. There's our spare oxygen. Quite the ridiculous quantity of the little lionfish. Just clear out this location. Thought I saw one of these rocks, so maybe I'll get another. Ah, uh, sure. 
let's drop in this. See what's gonna happen. Oh, these little shits actually attack me? Interesting. Problem is the amount of them and the quality. Two, four. Ah, uh, four will do. I'm not really sure if harpooning them would be an efficient way of doing things. Still have quite a large amount of space in the inventory. That was just awesome. One shot at this thing. Those are goal. Now the optimal thing would be if I would actually get the uh, eggs from that specific species. Reason why, uh, with the other one already at the fish tank, uh, I would be ensured that eventually it would self-reproduce so I don't have to go hunting for it. Uh, I would rather spend the evening uh, serving customers at the restaurant uh, therefore ensuring I will get more profit because if I need just 9,500 uh, in order to upgrade uh, to have three crab pots it can be quite understandable that it will be a little bit of a pickle but yeah we did get the blue lobster which is absolutely awesome I want to see what's going to be in the current region at night time, if anything at all. No ticket. Who knows, maybe I'll need olive oil because Italian cuisine without olive oil, I don't think works. just not gonna cut it. I only have one oxygen, but I'll take the second one. Spear squid ticket. When in Rome, and it's nighttime. Try to grab whatever. And there goes another one of those knuckleheads. This one bit more resistant. So that's our drones consumed. Don't need the net gun, that's for sure. Anything else? Anything whatsoever can ever. Should have harpooned this one. Unfortunately, the quality is just not existent, therefore. It's at least the two stars that you want to work with. It's gonna make the job that much easier for you. These ones I already have plenty of at the fish tank. God damn it with the cat food. I have so much cat food, that is gonna be one super happy little kitty. Why are you guys so aggressive, huh? Okay, uh, get rid of this one. Definitely need the ammo now. I don't really want this one, I have plenty of those, and there's far better sharks to be served to the customer. 
I don't think there's like an achievement where you need to get all the dishes to level 10. 10. That would just be absolutely ridiculously grindy. So I would not see the point of doing something like that. Anything else I want to catch? Besides some break? Uh, I still can potentially reel in some meat. 55 kilos is a lot. see stuff like sharks and other things which I just won't get at night uh, daytime but I'm not sure where the hell to look anymore unfortunately there was like this transitional zone where absolutely nothing was spawning in so either you were able to capture the fish at the surface level or uh, then just nothing and then at the deeper levels but uh, the gap uh, should not have this much effect on how much stuff you would be able to catch worst case scenario i'll just call in for an escape pod but even for that i'll need to find the location for it anything anywhere I'll have to grab a bunch of these, but I don't care, honestly. It will fill up the inventory, and uh, that's like the important thing. 4.6 kilos, I can work with that. Somewhere down here, it should have gone. Oh, you little aggressive snot bubble. Don't really need the fossils now. That thing attacked, which is the most surprising thing to me. The squid seems to be quite aggressive, but ever since these species have evolved in, like, what, Devon era, they have been around for hundreds of millions of years. Uh, yeah, it's been. Tiger at nighttime, huh? I mean, worst case scenario, I'll take this sucker in, I don't care. I know it's like 15 kilos a pop, but... Anything else anywhere? Just these ones. Not really that interested in these species of fish. Have plenty of those. Okay. I think we can call in the escape pod and get the fudge out. If this knucklehead is gonna. Now I feel like I have to take him in. Okay. So escape pod does not mean that I'm losing the resources. I should still have everything that I picked up. The biggest catch is going to be probably the tiger. Just as I assumed. Copper. Brain. Zebra. Blue lobster. Humboldt squid meat, 30 of those, so that's awesome. Black tip. Unfortunately, I don't see the Humboldt squid uh, in here. Really unfortunate. Okay, so let's go do the service. And that'll be it for the episode. So if you did like it, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more, 
check out the playlist or make sure to hit the notification bell as i cover a variety of games i will probably be switching a few things around when it comes to the uploads and whatnot in order to make it a little bit more interesting in the nearby future but i haven't really made any sort of actual announcement toward it or like actual plan toward it so i'll see how it will all work out so the best way to stay up to date is definitely to uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell. So with that all said, enjoy the service as I try to figure out what the hell to serve these knuckleheads. Uh, 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 uh. Trying to decide what to serve these knuckleheads, hence the struggle to choose. I don't know if it's a good idea to just put in like bunch of super pricey meals because that what can happen is that people are just not gonna order that stuff, which would just be most unfortunate. And we have also reduced serving time, so that can end up all sorts of ways. Should have considered that as well when picking up the meals to serve. You know, when they say that you are like a beverage master, I assume that you would actually provide those beverages, but in local years, not going to be too many people who want cocktails. I haven't had too much time to perfect that mastery. Okay, uh... You? of the meals was not utilized really not good did we get a perfect service though yeah poor 
4.8. I'll be definitely able to get one of the additional cucumber dishes. Good stuff, good stuff.